If you've got a heap of GarageBand projects on your iPad or your iPhone and you're starting to run out of space, in this video I'm going to show you how you can zip up and back up those project files and store them somewhere else. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome back to another GarageBand 5 Minute Tip. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording and releasing in GarageBand, check the other videos in the description. Now, there are two places you can store project files on your iPad or iPhone. The On My iPad or On My iPhone location will store it locally on your device. I recommend storing on iCloud Drive because this automatically backs it up to iCloud Drive. However, you have limited storage there. You can do what I do and pay for a little more storage, but eventually you you're going to run out and need to find another way to store those project files you're not currently working on. Here's how to do that. First of all, we're going to need to leave GarageBand. So I'm going to swipe up. Now, if I swipe down on my screen here and type the word files, I can open the files app. If you don't have this one, go to the app store, search files, and you'll find it there. Let's now go to my iCloud drive to GarageBand for iOS. And I'm going to go into this completed folder and 1%. This is a project that I worked on over a year ago. I don't need it taking up space on my iPad or iPhone. So let's get it backed up somewhere else. Now you might be thinking, can't I just copy or upload these directly to a USB drive or to a Google drive or Dropbox? Unfortunately not. You do need to do one other step, which is to compress the file first. So I use version control. So here's the last version of this project. If I want just this one, all I need to do is tap and hold on the file. And in the menu that appears, tap on compress and you'll see that it starts zipping up that file into its own zip file. And there it is ready to go. I could now delete these files if I wanted to because it's safely in that zip file. What if you want to do multiple files into one zip folder? No problem at all. All we need to do is tap the select button here and let's say I wanted both this project, the second to last version and the final mix all in one zip file. I select them all there, then down in the bottom right corner, tap on more and now tap on compress and it will take these three files and create this archive.zip file that I can then rename and copy wherever I like. That's now done. If I want to rename, tap and hold, tap on rename rename it and we're good to go. The first way we can back up this file is using your own USB drive. I've plugged a USB flash drive into my iPad and you can see it's popped up here. We can select it. You can see the files that I have on here so far. All I need to do if I wanna copy this is go to the location where I saved the zip file and simply drag it across to my flash drive. And there you'll see it's copying across and in just a moment, it's on my USB drive backed up safely. Now I use SanDisk dual drives because they have both USB-C and USB and it makes it really easy to use them no matter what system you're on. If you're using a lightning based iPhone or iPad, you will need the lightning to USB three adapter from Apple and a power source to get this working. If you'd like to learn more about using USB drives with your iPhones and iPads, the other video is in the description. Another way to back up your files is to use a cloud storage platform. Now I happen to use Google Drive. So I've got the Google Drive app here installed on my iPad and if I want to up upload this, all I need to do is hit the big plus button here, hit upload file, tap on browse, and then tap on this zip file. Now hit upload, and the file is uploaded to my Google Drive, safely stored away in the cloud. And you can, of course, use OneDrive or iCloud Drive or Dropbox or any other cloud storage platform to store your files. Just keep in mind that you want it stored in at least two locations. So if it's not on your iPad or iPhone, make sure you've got it stored in two different cloud platforms or maybe a USB drive and a cloud storage platform. Oh, and one final tip, if you're trying to compress a file to a zip file and you don't have the compress option, you might be in the GarageBand app by mistake. They do look exactly the same. So all you need to do is swap back to the files app and you'll be able to compress from there. 